Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is March 31st of 2019. And I'm going to make this a, sh a short video, which is unusual if you know me. And I'm going to have one subject, which is unusual if you know me. I keep, uh, sometimes I'm thinking, you know, uh, just give up making videos, you know, because... But on the other hand, and then I'm looking at my videos and thinking, you know, what am I doing wrong? And I look at other, you know, other videos, and I think that's a good way to do it. Then I see other videos, I think that's the way to do it. But I've just been doing <coughs> videos my way, the way I want to do them, and like a video blog. But I, I do think when I make my videos and I throw everything in there, everything but the kitchen sink and sometimes the kitchen sink, that it's hard for you all to know, you know, whether the subjects are something that you want to hear about. And I'm thinking maybe I just need to make a video on one subject. So, I mean, even I, I make the video and then when it goes to putting tags in there for it, it's like, I don't even remember what I said, and I sure don't want to listen to myself. Uh, and for a title, what do I put in for a title? Because I've covered 15 different subjects, told stories, uh, don't know. So maybe that's going to be my, maybe that's what I'll do starting April 1st. But I'll start today. I'm going to make, try to make, well, I'll try that. I'm, at least that's what I'm saying right now. I'm going to make videos on one subject. If I have five different subjects that I, that I think I'm going to talk about, then I'll make five different short videos. At least you'll know what to expect. So, this is one subject. Uh, I love movies and TV shows. I always have. I, you know, I was a kid before there was television. I can remember when my parents bought, I'm starting to tell them, you know, oh God. I remember my parents went out, well I went, I went with them to the Municipal Auditorium in Kansas City, Missouri. They were showing television sets and they were there. My parents bought a television set and then it sat in our living room and we had to wait for the TV station to uh, be built and then had to wait for it to, uh, I think it was already built, but it was, you know, we had to wait for it to go on the air. And then it came on, you know, like testing one hour a night or something like that. They showed a travel log or something. We'd sit there, watch the sparkling screen, and then the test pattern or something would come on. And then we would watch, you know, the thing, then it would go off after an hour and then We'd wait for the next night for it to, well, we didn't sit there all day, 24 hours waiting for it, but. And movies were important to the kids of when I was a kid in my generation. Uh, we went to movies twice a week, Friday night and Sunday afternoon. And they showed two movies, and then there would be a something else to go with it, a newsreel and maybe a cereal or uh, something else. So, but I think even if you didn't grow up then, I think even if you grow up now, we love movies, everybody loves movies. And uh, so, uh, my kids are sort of spread out. Well, I have a grown son that lives here with us. And then I have actually my grown daughter who lives in the apartment in an apartment behind us now uh, and uh, I have a son in Florida and I have a married daughter in the Washington DC area and all of us love movies so I recommended the highway man uh, which is on Netflix to my family now my ex-wife, I guess she's not really family, but uh, she doesn't like, she, 
she likes a totally different kind of movie than I do, and she watches shows that I cannot, I need a barf bag, I cannot stand, uh, for the most part. But I still recommended it, The Highwaymen, which is, you know, Bonnie and Clyde movie. Uh, and then I, rec I recommended this movie to, and now here is CNN, oh, fake news, right? Fake news. They, this little uh, commentary by Byron Lowe, I, I don't know if he's a uh, TV movie critic or what he is, but it's on the front page and uh, I, I, you can read it yourself. I'll put the link to it. But uh, I, I think I, 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 I didn't really read it. I scanned it. But he's not, not happy with it. And I don't want to spo spool. I don't want to spoil the uh, spoil it for you. But uh, I'm not sure. He just doesn't care for it. Uh, this is. I'll put the link to this. It's two minutes and forty six seconds. It is the trailer for the official trailer. Uh, for it, and uh, this is for the highwaymen, and uh, I do think I can't picture. Like I said, I like the movie. I like it very much. It's not a great movie. It's not The Sound of Music or what would be another great movie. I don't know. But I think it's a really, a really good movie, and I think they did it really well. And I, <clears throat> there again, I don't want to spoil it for you, but uh, the way they they did it, well, I'll spoil it a little bit. If you're thinking that this is like the Bonnie and Clyde movie, which you can pay for on. Uh, YouTube for two ninety nine, you can see it, and it was a really good movie. Uh, Warren Bailey and Faye Dunaway, uh, because it covers them. It's Bonnie and Clyde, you know. Where this one here, I guess I'm giving a little bit of it away. Is uh, this is from a different perspective. And I thought that I thought that was excellent, the way they did this. I thought it was uh, really well done, because I've seen the other movie, and I've watched a lot of YouTube uh, videos that uh, talk about Bonnie and Clyde and uh, the whole, you know that whole thing, what the history worth remembering guy or uh, or those. I don't recommend, well maybe, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure if I recommend, I'll put the link, I'm not sure if I, if you're gonna go to, well, I don't think it would spoil the movie because I think if you're watching the Highwaymen, you know what's going to happen, but um, I've I watch a lot of YouTube videos and uh, there's a video I remember that I watched that I'm in by the way Fort Worth Texas that's another thing now maybe that's a little bit of a reason why I'm not from Fort Worth Texas but uh, Bonnie and Clyde originated here in Texas I think in Dallas, I believe. Um, uh, I saw a YouTube video where a a guy went around here with a camera and showed where uh, the where Bonnie 
is buried in the Crown Hill Memorial Park, Dallas, Texas, and showed, now he's not very, uh, and where Clyde is buried, and he's buried in Dallas, Texas, different cemetery. And if I remember correctly, one of the police officers that they killed is buried, I think, in the same cemetery that uh, Clyde Barrow is buried in. If not, then a short distance away is the, one of the police officers that they killed, and they killed a bunch of... Uh, so I'll put the link to this. Um, so back, people say I repeat myself, and I do. I think that's the way to... That's just the way I, you know, convey information. So, uh, the YouTube, that's under entertainment, isn't it? See, in a case, okay, so it's not fake news. Uh, because it's just somebody's opinion. What looks like a can't miss concept, the aging lawman who hunted down Bonnie and Clyde yields a dutiful, uninspired movie in The Highway Men, pairing Kevin Costner and Woody Allen. So uh, I disagree. I think it was a really well done movie. But like I said, when, when I'm watching the movie, uh, they mention places throughout the movie that are, you know, stone's throw from here so maybe that's a little bit of a reason but I don't think that's the entire reason I think it's a good movie uh, here's the trailer I'll put the link <clears throat> I'm not sure I'm not I haven't looked at the trailer uh Sometimes, what was it? Saw some some movie the other day where they showed. No, it was a, a trailer for something that's new. No, they took an old TV show <coughs> about something. It was an old TV show made a long time ago, and now they're showing it on Netflix or Amazon or one of those as a series. And but there was uh, uh, a little trailer. Well, that it showed every everything. Oh, it was Moses. Something about Moses. I think it was. Yeah, Moses. And it shows in the trailer. Okay, the parting of the sea, uh, the ten commission, ten come You know, it it showed the. We know you know the story, and it is a story. Uh, but they show it was and also looked like the uh, it was so old of a TV show that it looked like the I, I wouldn't be able to watch the but yeah so I'm not sure I'll put the link I hope it doesn't let's see actually I can pop up here a little bit and see I'm sure they don't spoil it but I'll put the link uh, definitely and it doesn't matter if you want to watch the Bonnie and Clyde, you may check and see, like you can watch it for two ninety nine from YouTube. Maybe it's available free uh, uh, someplace. But, uh, and I'll put the Wikipedia link. And so that is, uh, that's it. I recommend the highway men, and I disagree with this. I guess he's a reviewer, entertainment reviewer, somebody like that. I disagree with him, but I really, uh, I'm sure he has his point. But now I, I honestly believe that uh, you know how that is when you watch a movie or something, rather. I think if this highway men, if the casting had put anybody other than Kevin Costner and Woody Allen, Woody Harrison, Harrison uh, in the movie, I don't think 
I don't think I the I think this is perfect casting. This is a case where that just is absolutely perfect. And uh, by the way, at the end of the movie, don't stop right away because there's information that pops up on the screen to tell you uh, a little bit about it. And two, and I did not know this. I did not know that, and it's in this movie you're going to see that Texas has a female governor. I did not know that there was a female governor of any state back then, I think. I did not know there was one in Texas. I also did not know that she had, which is correct, that she had done away with the Texas Rangers. And uh, so, yeah watch this movie, The Highwaymen, and then come back and say, yes, Jim, give thumbs up. Come back and say, yes, Jim, you should be a movie reviewer, uh, which I shouldn't be. <laughs> but in this case, I just wanted to put the word out that check this out on Netflix. And thank you very much for watching. Now, this will be easy to... Uh, put the tags in and uh, come up with a title.